back to my channel. It's simply Jessica here today with a Friday Dollar Tree haul. Happy, happy Friday. So this cold still slightly kicking my behind, but I have to say so much better than I was just days ago because like I explained, that was horrible. You can probably still hear it a little bit when I'm talking, but other than that, can't really complain too, too much, thankfully. Baby is doing fantastic. She seems to be 100% back to herself. Thank goodness, because I felt terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible for her. Anywho, went to the Dollar Tree, found some great stuff. I have to get to this background because you guys know that I am in full-fledged fall mode and I can't wait, right? I already did most of the house except for this room. So we got to get to it, all right? But let me hop in here. Let me pull my table over a little bit and show you some of the things that I picked up at the Dollar Tree today. Well, I'll show you everything I picked up today. Um, <laughs> but we're going to start with Chloe. I got, they have chicken and tuna chunk in gravy. These are appetizers for cats, it says. You get three pouches in each one. Like I said, Chloe is not a picky, picky eater, which is phenomenal. So we are going to try these out with her. It does say they are for all stages of life, complete and balanced, but this is what they look like. They just come in these little silver packets. It does have the little notches here, so it's easy pull, and then you could just pop these out or push these out into their little bowls. And it's by Beef Eaters, which is funny because it's chicken and tuna, but it is by Beef Eaters, and I'm sure that she's gonna love them. I'll keep you posted, but I already know she is such a good eater that I'm sure she will love them. But I thought that was something a little different to try for her. Uh, let's see. I did get some of my ordinary and because my memory is shot, here is some more Dove soap, which when I came home and I still have a lot of the stuff that I hauled the other day, what day was that? Tuesday, Monday, I don't even remember anymore. No, Monday I was still sick, Tuesday. And it's over here and I didn't realize I have soap, but it's okay because you guys know that I just stock up on it anyway. It goes quick though. Like I feel like, and I shouldn't say that because I feel like it's probably a couple of months before I have to buy them because I really do kind of like stock up on this stuff, but Dove Soap, the original, my fave, got that. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to go, I picked up a couple different powders for makeup. And now, okay, so in the summer, technically, yes, still summer, I tan pretty well. So I got some darker pressed powder. The tan is starting to fade and that is fine. Um, but I like a bronzer. I use a bronzer a lot, you know, lift those cheekbones, slim out that jawline, all that fun stuff. So I got two different ones. This isn't a bronzer, but it is by LA Colors. This is a pressed powder, and it is in this darker shade here. It is called Tan, um, which is perfect. So it is in this darker color right here. So this, I think, because I'm not real into, like, real shimmery um, bronzers. Woo, there we go. Uh, anymore. Like used to do the, the shimmery bronzers and stuff like if I was going out at night or something like that, but that is something I don't do often. So I wanted to get more of like a matte bronzer here. So this is what I'm going to use this for. And for a dollar and a quarter, you can't beat it because makeup is expensive guys. Like my goodness. But I did pick up one that has, I think a little bit of glitter to it. Yeah, it is a shimmer finish. This is Instant Radiant Bronzer. It is also by LA Colors. And it is in the color Sun Goddess. Let me pop this out of here. Come on. Oh, there we go. So I want to show you. I want to see if you can see the shimmer in it. Because it might not be that bad. Because right now, looking at it, I can't really see it. And I can't open it. There we go. Okay, I see it. 
it's probably very hard to catch on camera, but it does have a shimmer to it. It is not overly shimmery. So if you're looking just for, you can't really tell. If you're looking just for like a light shimmer, which is nice because it kind of gives you a glow. The sun hits it like perfectly and it kind of like just gives you that glow all around. Basically you do a three this way, this way, and I go down the center. But this one may not be bad. So if you're looking for a more shimmery bronzer, you're not going to want this one. But if you're looking for something subtle, this may work pretty well. There's that. Um, and then I picked up the Essentially Ages Be Pure. It is that pressed powder that you guys know that I like. It's blurring pressed powder. It's just this little thing, which I've had mine for quite some time. Um... I would have to say a few months now. This is what it looks like. I have showed you me using it. That is the color. So again, a little bit lighter. And then they have a darker one. This is medium to deep. And that is the color there. So these are your two shades. You can see the difference there. Let me try to put my hand here. Let's see if we can get some darkness. There we go. So those are your two shades. So you have medium to deep here and you have light to medium right here. I did try just the deep, medium to deep. It's too dark for my face. So again, can be utilized as a bronzer, which is phenomenal. I can use this one. I really do like this blurring press powder. Um, like I said, I just use a little round makeup sponge and I tap that in there like that when I put my makeup on and it really does a good job. So this is something that I will continue to buy as I see it there because I am a fan. So you might want to try that out if you're looking for something light. I don't like a heavy, thick foundation because like I've explained, it settles in all of my nooks and crannies and I just want something more light but good coverage. So it's good coverage, but it is a light foundation, which is phenomenal. And then I got some stuff for the feet because, man, my feet are so dry. Like, <laughs> my skin is so dry right now. I got a foot mask. This is by Be Pure. Packaging, adorable. Love the orange and purple and green color together. Just caught my eye there. This is what it looks like. How cute is that? And it's soothing lavender. You get one pair, so obviously one for each foot. And you're going to keep these on. It says recommended 15 to 30 minutes. Then you just remove the sock from your foot. You trash it, wipe off any remaining residue with a damp cloth. That's it. Skin on your feet will feel moist after use. Recommended three to five times a week. So I'm going to try it out once. I'm going to see how this feels on the Tootsies because they need some loving. Um, and if I love it, <coughs> excuse me, if I love it, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to get some more. But on top of using a foot mask, they have, it's by Spa, 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 I can't talk to you, Spa Essentials. And it is Repair in Smooth. So we have a Repair Soothing Foot Cream. This is what the container looks like. It is vitamin C and shea butter. They are four ounces in each bottle. And it just pops open and there you go. Okay, I haven't even smelled it. I'm not sure what we got going on here. So I'm just gonna pop this sucker right off of here. Oh, it smells good, too. Watch it go right up my nose, right? It kind of has like a fruity smell to it. it. Smells fantastic. This color, I like, I love. So we have the Repair one. And they have this light beige. This is exfoliating foot scrub, brown sugar, and almond oil. That is what this one here looks like. So very similar, obviously, in... The packaging, just different colors, so we know which one is which. I am going to pop this off too because I want to smell it. <laughs> now I just want to smell it. Thankfully, I can smell because the nose being clogged up as something I haven't lost is taste or smell. Thankfully, I'd be so sad. 
And that smells really good too. It kind of smells like the beach, <laughs> which I love, but it comes out like, well, it's like clear. Aw, I didn't mean to do that. But then like the little exfoliating things in there so we could scrub a dub dub. Come on, go back in. Ah, son of a gun. That's okay. I will clean that up. Now it's all over me. But I thought that I'm going to give those three things a try because they're just rough. I don't know. I don't know if it's from the summer and wearing sandals all the time or flip-flops, nothing with any like real cushion in them. I'm not sure, but they're suffering, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't mind, I'm just going to grab my drink here. Then I was super excited to find these there. I don't find these often, and they are the wooden dowels. You get two of them, and these are 15.75 by 0.5 inches. You do get two, like we said, in each pack. I picked up a couple of them, so you can use these. There we go. Full two size if you need. They're super thick, sturdy, and I love them. Or you could also cut these down if you needed to have more of them, whatever the case may be. But I don't see these often, like ever in mine. I know, um, I forget what I was making like a couple years ago. And I know a lot of people suggested just getting wooden dowels from the Dollar Tree. I never find them, like ever. So I was super excited to find these. So I did get two of these bigger ones. And then I got a pack of four. And they're 12 by 0.36 inches. And that is what these look like here. So obviously much smaller. We could do comparison here. So obviously on the smaller side compared to the bigger ones. And in thickness as well. But again, nice and sturdy. And they come in handy a lot for crafting. So I was so happy to find them. I probably should have picked up more. But I'm kind of hoping that since they're kind of newer being out that they'll kind of keep them a little longer but I could be dead wrong about that uh let's see oh of course I picked up the air wick oil diffuser not diffusers essential oils apple cinnamon scented oil lasts up to 15 days we've already talked about that eh. It doesn't necessarily last the 15 days, but the days that it does last, it smells phenomenal. So I did pick up two more. This is something else, just like the soap that I kind of have like a stockpile in the house. I was super sad last year because they did not bring these out at all last year. And I went to multiple, you guys know there's multiple Dollar Trees in my area. I even go outside the area. I didn't find them, not one time last year. So sad, but... Oh, super excited. So, you know, I'm going to grab them every time that I'm there. I found this super cute. I want to say candle holder. I want to make sure it's what it is. It is. And look how cute this is. A nice frosted glass. It is just a very light, subtle, orangey brown kind of color. And then we have our little bow and then a super cute wooden button here in the middle. How adorable. Seriously. I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> I will show, of course, any pictures. I don't remember if they had different colors. I can't remember anything today. Um, if they did, any pictures that I take of the, of the stuff that I will post at the end of the video. That I promise you. And then I know we have seen these before, but I picked up these two anyway. And they are the Muted Pumpkins. Now, up close and personal, we have the cream colored one. And you see all those really nice little brown spots on there. It actually, in person, is a lot of little brown dots. I don't know how well that shows on camera, but I love the gold stem. I think that is really pretty. And then you have the orange one, and again, with the little brown spots on there. They are called muted pumpkins. They are styrofoam, very lightweight, but super gorgeous. And they have the really cute orange stems on them, which are phenomenal and now I just threw it on the floor I did pick up some window clings as well since last year not last year what was it for I don't remember what holiday um <coughs> when I figured out that 
window clings work really well with Mod Podge and wood. Um, so I can't remember what I made. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So now when I see them, this is what I think. These are phenomenal because you don't only need to put them on your windows. You can use these for craft projects. I'm assuming that, and assuming, because I don't know, that they would stick to other things just as well. I know that I did it with, um, <coughs> so sorry. <coughs> with the wood, I had to pause that. Oh my goodness. With wood, I'm assuming it probably would be just as well on, I don't know, canvas or plastic or metal or glass. Not 100% positive. So these are things that I can play around with and we can discover together if it works well or not. But using that in my head, look how many super cute pumpkin clings are on here. Of course, if you wanted to make something bigger, you have this very big center one that says gather with a grateful heart. Absolutely gorgeous. You guys know I show them pictures and they have tons and tons and tons and tons of different window clings this year. So I did pick up two of the ones that I feel would work for me. So this is one of them. And the other one is this one right here. I love the autumn right here in the middle. There is some glitter to these two, which is, you know, makes me super happy. Um, Pretty much on all of them is a little glitter piece. Not every one of them, but look at these super cute glitter pumpkins. Then you have this wreath here and just the pumpkins are glitter, which is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. We have some glitter pumpkins. We have some sunflowers here and like the only glitter part is this little ball that's tied around it. And then of course the truck and we just have a glitter pumpkin in the truck. I love these. Love, love, love them. And I know that they're going to be phenomenal to use. So got to think of some things. Try it out. I'm going to just try it out on different things and see what we have going on because it could be something else that is just so easy to do to make something so, I almost cussed, so beautiful <laughs> that I, I'm looking forward to it. Seriously, guys. And then I picked up a shower curtain. I had to. I use these as liners in the shower instead of the actual shower curtain. Um, they're 70 inches wide by 72 inches long. But these are what I use. I pick them up all the time. Um, not all the time, but when I need to replace the shower liner, this is what I pick up. Um, it's $1.25. Shower liners are ridiculously pricey as well anymore. So why not? Dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. You have your shower liner. You're good to go. And then the last thing that I picked up that you hear clanking around over here is this metal. You hear that? Steak, yard steak. I don't know, garden steak. There we go. I love this pumpkin. I'm liking the off-white. I like the silver accents to it. Again, if you get white, you want to make it your own color, you can. Spray paint, wonderful. Um, it does have the stake on it, so you can just very easily stick this in your ground and use as is. You can also detach this part from the back and just use the pumpkin. Even if you wanted to keep this in the yard and you didn't want the colors that they have, get you a white one. So very easily spray painted over and you have exactly whatever color it is that you want. But that is all I have for you guys today. We are packing up and visiting mom and dad tomorrow. It's going to be me and Miss Avery. I'm hoping so because I'm still nasal. But anywho, that's it. <laughs> that's all I have for you guys. So until next time, bye now.